somber anniversary being marked in Manchester today. One year ago, a disgruntled worker opened fire inside of Hartford Distributors, killing eight co-workers. It was the worst case of workplace violence in Connecticut history. News Ace Kim Pierce on the scene in Manchester with more on today's memorial. Hundreds of people come together to mark the one-year anniversary of a day that a business was torn apart by Connecticut's worst workplace shooting ever. A year after the ugliness of the Manchester massacre, there is peace and beauty in a memorial next to Hartford Distributors, Inc. Today is a day where we want to remember and memorialize these people um, in a place where the families and the family of Hartford Distributors can come and, and have a serene setting. It was a not serene at all day one year ago that truck driver Omar Thornton was called in early and shown surveillance video of him stealing beer off his truck and selling it on the side. He agreed to resign, but on the way out the door, he pulled out a gun and started shooting. He killed eight co-workers before he shot and killed himself. Those eight men are now memorialized in the eight steel pillars of the memorial garden next to the beer distributor. Each name evokes pictures and memories. For instance, Brian Serigliano the Teamster Union president. He was the first encounter with Omar Thornton. He fought Omar Thornton and allowed about 16 people to escape from the room, including a woman in a wheelchair, and he was subsequently um, shot in the face. Hundreds of friends, relatives, and co-workers came to remember the fallen. Their families each released a white dove as part of a somber ceremony. It hurts a little more. It doesn't hurt a little less, but it does hurt a little more. And with time, I'm sure the healing process will begin, but for now, it still does hurt. And the families have handled the situation uh, with grace and dignity and um, we couldn't be more proud of every single one of them. They are now bound together by the tragedy just as the eight pillars are bound together with a ribbon of steel across the top and the community came together to raise more than $65,000 to pay for the memorial. It was personalized even more by the families today. They could place mementos in the top section of each pillar. About a third of the top has a small uh, opening that will be forever sealed once they put in their uh, personal items and notes and whatnot, like a time capsule. And the fundraising efforts continue. Whatever does not get spent on the memorial will go to the fund that goes to the families of the victims. On the scene in Manchester, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.